Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at my car's window, um, the, especially the passenger side. Um, I have a problem with it. I can put the window down using the driver actuator, but then on the passenger side, nothing happens. It goes up, but then it doesn't go down. So I manually have to go down, and then the passenger, uh, can only go up but they can't go back down so we're going to rip apart the door trim and see if we can find out the reason why this is happening all right to get started there's two clips here um, which we can use a small flathead let's take them out he's got to be really careful not to damage the trim so that's the first one there you go there's the second one so as you can see, that's the first one where the handle is, just there. And the second one is just in there where you uh, use to shut the door with. Okay, so next um, you got to do is to remove these two screws just using a two-point Phillips head. One. Same with the second one. Yeah, that should just come off. It's pretty easy. Like that. Put those screws aside. Now next, it should be, take that off. So the first ones are silver, the door trim is black, so yeah, silver on the doors and sil um, yeah, silver on the doors and black for the door trim side. Next, we're going to take off the tw the, this tweeter panel. Now I've taken the tweeters off, I have um, installed aftermarket speakers in this car previously so mine wasn't that easy to take off. Alright, now next step, this should just come off provided there's no more screws. Which I don't think there is, I think that's it. Just be able to just work in your way around. Okay, that should just come off. Just Okay, now next thing you're going to notice is the door's going to, um, the door is actually stuck onto the car, like the door trim. So you have to fold these two orange things back. This one. This might be a bit trickier. This space. So you might need a little flat end. Okay. That's the second clip out. Next, quite simple, just push up on them both. They should just pop off. And then pull this green tab out. Alright, so the door trim's off. I've taken off the um, the power window switch just off the door trim just with two screws on the side, then that just slides out. Next, just to think um, just to make it easier to find out the problem, I'm gonna plug this back in, just clips in. Now I'm going to give the car some power. Next, just to see, so it goes up fine. For some reason, nothing happens when it's down. So I've got to try and figure out what it is. It's definitely something to do with this switch because I can manually do it on the driver's side. So the door, I know the door actuator is working fine. There's something to do with the power. On Boogie. Ah, oh, there we go. So it might just be a loose connection after all. What I did notice is when you push the button down to put the window down, probably you can't see in there, but it's got two little um, copper plates, and when you push it down, they actually touch. So what we'll do is we'll try and bend them because they might have something to do with the power not going through. So we'll try just bend these and see what happens. Pass down. Yep. So now they're touching. Let's plug this in and hopefully that will do something. So the window's up. Oh, yep, there we go. Mad. Try that all the way up again. All the way down. Well, that's good. Um, I didn't expect that to be a problem, but. Yeah, it was a random problem. <laughs> For some uh, reason, just the two little connectors there, it wasn't, they've been bent somehow, even though I've never actually touched the window connector. Maybe, I don't know, the cold or something. I don't know, honestly, I, I don't know why, but 
if you have this problem just bend those two little clips so it actually touches the copper wire when you're pushing the button down just to make the contact and then that should solve the problem let's try again just confirm let's put the wind all the way up and back down again yeah beautiful now let's just try while I have the current pieces just the driver's side just to make sure I haven't messed around with anything it goes down yep beautiful okay now let's put everything back together um, and hopefully you guys I mean don't have to go through this but if you have this problem maybe it's worth having a shot and that just took me maybe five to ten minutes ten minutes at the most to take off the door trim um, unclip these two unclip the, um, the power window switch uh, just to solve the problem you could probably save yourself a couple hundred bucks and taking the car to a Mitsubishi dealer or auto electrician Well, thanks for watching guys hopefully this video um, was helpful to you guys if you have any comments or questions uh, feel free to drop us a comment we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can and make sure you guys stay subscribed so you can see regular uploads 